Hey, it's Rachel Greninger with Red Carpet Report, and today we're at the 2016 Daytime Emmys in downtown Los Angeles. I recognize you instantly because I remember you from Heroes and Max Payne. Oh, wow. And That's like, so random. And I'm wearing my red hair, and you I know. Nice to me. Oh, wow. I'm pretty good at my job. I like your bangs. We're kind of like matching right now. A little bit. This I actually just got bangs for the first time. Do you love it? I love it. I don't know how I feel. I love it. I love it. It, makes, it stresses me out because I'm like, but I don't have to do my brows, but I do. No, you don't have to do them. You don't have to do your brows. No, no, no. We heard it here first. I'm not doing my brows anymore. We're done. I don't need to get a wax either. So you guys are, it's so cool because you're, you're doing such a totally different show than a lot of other shows. So this is about after the world ends. Can you explain a little bit about what that's about? Oh, no, it's not after about that. It's after the world. Actually about after show. world ends. That's, um, that's a metaphor. <laughs> See, I knew that. It's like metaphorically speaking. Tell me a little bit about what you guys got coming up this season. Well, our season one tagline was after the world ends because my character finds out that Van's character has been cheating on him for the last four months. and they're What? And they decide to stay together. So it's the wreckage of that. Um, but season two is about us being really slutty. So that's kind of... Uh, appropriate! Yeah, exactly. It's red carpet appropriate. And um, season two is a crazy ensemble about different kinds of relationships and the different ways that people mess up their lives. We've got Constance Wu, who is in a straight relationship with my husband. Real life straight, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I, Bria I, I, plays... I became a cat. <laughs> Congratulations, how was that? <laughs> Meow. She's still uh, in the part right now. You're method act. I'm a method cat. <laughs> You're Daniel Day Lewis. She means her character uh, had to leave to go and join the non equity national tour of cats. Mm. She could come back at any Four time in life. full cat makeup. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope that that's a plot or an arc that we revisit or that does actually happen. Because that would be amazing. I hope it's a spin off. And I just wanted to ask you in front of the public <laughs> if, you'd be, would you? <laughs> if you'd be willing to do a comedy about the national tour of cats. I have been waiting for you to ask. Like, <laughs> We're breaking news here, folks. Red Carpet Report has it first for Eastsiders. Spin-offs on cats. Because Keanu's so great. Keanu looks great. I did the carpet this weekend and saw everybody. Yeah, they were super great. The movie's hilarious. The cat there? Yes. They, were, they used seven different cats for so because they kept growing up. Because they grow up. They're too big. And they did. A lot of the crew took a bunch home, apparently, too. Right? Oh, it's beautiful. Congratulations, and uh, good luck. I'll let you guys get out of the wind tunnel and go get some drinks. Yeah. Bye. Can you go? Yeah. Thanks. thanks for watching, and if you like what you've seen here, hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite daytime programming is.